This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by We Use Coins. Dot com. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. That that's my report for the retard report. Uh, actually, I'm supposed to be doing one now for the Riddler Report, and uh, it has to do with an idea that might sound retarded coming from me. Uh, I'm not really the right person to be uh, pushing for this, being as I am sort of. Uh, excessively asocial, but um, I thought of something, a a tactic that freedom activists in New Hampshire could use, which would tend to bring them closer together, hopefully without some of the drama that tends to result from uh, the free staters' social experimentations with each other. I mean, you know, I usually have this uh, saying, uh, united we stand, divided we rise, because I think it's not too good to get too close to each other, you know, to where we're sort of like leaning towards commune territory. I can't remember who it was who said that uh, in a, under a tyranny, uh, friends are a liability because the ones who are loyal to you die and the ones who are not loyal enough to you betray you. <laughs> Nevertheless, just despite all those caveats, here's my brainstorm. What about setting up, well, you know, you could set up one for yourself. Mutual defense pacts with individuals. Like, for instance, let's say, this is how I would do it, if there were uh, an individual who I trusted a great deal, who lived in maybe, you know, the same area as me, uh, say this person's name is, uh, uh, Joe Tard, <laughs> in, in, in honor of my false start there. <laughs> I, hope, I hope that using his name is not going to just, uh, render the whole concept unviable. But let's let's say that I, okay, I want to uh, have a mutual defense pact with John Tard. And this defense pact would not necessarily be a physical defense type thing, but it would be basically saying to John Tard, uh, Mr. Tard, uh, John, I will raise hell if the following, you know, things happen to you. If any of the following things happen to you. you you're put in jail, you're clubbed over the head by Cynthia Chase, You're hauled into court, whatever. Uh, And if any of those things happen to me, uh, you'll do the same for me. Pretty simple stuff. Oh, and the other thing I like, the the one that might be best, is um, uh, I, Dave Ridley, agree to uh, check in with Joe Tard once a month. And perhaps, among other things, I would check to find out if Joe Tard has a national security letter out against him, right? Uh, so as you may as you may be aware, a national security le- letter pre- prevents you from telling people that you have a national security letter. Uh, it's one of these things that comes from the Homeland Security goons or the NSA, I don't know who, but somebody in the federal government. This is particularly, particularly vexatious because if you actually follow what it tells you to do, then you you are denied the number one weapon of um, defensive PR. I mean, normally, for instance, like if the government, you know, when they came after, uh, what was it? Uh, well, uh, when they came after George Donnelly for running a video camera near a federal building, you know, he was at least able to speak freely about the incident. Well, imag- imagine what imagine what would happen if you weren't. You had to hide the fact that you'd been attacked in some way, right? That's how. That's what a national security letter is. So my thought would be we set up a, a you know, some of us can set up a peaceable version of a, a dead man's switch surrounding national security letter threats. So say Joe Tard gets a national security letter in January of 2015. I check in with him on schedule around February 1st and say, hey, just wanted to check in, make sure you... Do- you know, uh, be sure to send me an email back if you don't have a national security letter, right? And no email comes back. So I can start, you know, reporting that there's a possibility that Joe Tard has a national security letter against him and explain that he didn't tell me this, but we have a dead man switch set up. So now (laughs) the authorities, to keep the information quiet that you have a national security letter, they would have to force you to lie actively on a specific day, you know, to uh, to hide the fact that you, you've got the national security letter. With luck, 
that might make them less likely to issue national security letters if we had a lot of these mutual defense pacts going around in New Hampshire. So this might be a, a sort of a more individualized, scalable form of liberty insurance. I think for me, I'm probably going to do this with some people because um, maybe, maybe I'm just uniquely suited to make this work well for both sides because if, in fact, someone were to get in trouble and I had a defense pact with them, at least a PR defense pact, then I would find it you know, very natural to assist them by talking about them on my channel and calling Free Talk Live and whatnot. Because although, yes, it might divert me from what I'm normally doing, it would really be useful to be able to share with the public the process of one of these mutual defense packs in action. It would not be bad for ratings. And, you know, I could kind of just do it without going very far out of my way. Now, Joe Tard might have, uh, you know, different skill sets from what I have. He might not be good at doing PR, uh, or, or at least, you know, the same types of PR that I do. So the, the the pact that we make with each other might be a little bit more asymmetric, whereas, you know, if something happens to him, I respond with some sort of PR or Ridley Report type activity, and if something happens to me, he responds with some sort of legal activity, because maybe he's a legal eagle. Or maybe he just shows up at a bureaucrat's office and says, uh, <laughs> Anyway... <laughs> Uh, hopefully I've done more to make this idea memorable than I have to make it sound stupid. But anyway, if any of you do something like this, you know, uh, maybe get in touch with me and let me know how it works for you. Truth is, I probably will not accept defense pacts with uh, most people. I might actually just pick some myself. Uh, or, you know, I might respond to one in ten people that, that suggest it. Uh, pacts between me and them, but um, yeah, we'll see. Mutual defense pacts. We'll we'll see if it can be done, or if maybe it needs a better name. Can you think of one? Are you in favor of this? Then why do you use this? Instead, maybe you should use this. Spending a government's currency does more than anything else to prop up that government. Please starve the monster by using other currencies when you can. The most exciting of these is Bitcoin, the currency of peace. Inflation resistant, it's the easiest money to send and receive over the web. Get started at weusecoins.com. Thank you.